Okay, here we are. Okay, so the um, activity is based upon this picture here, which is called the private sitting room of Sir Torres Lawrence. And yeah, it shows him at the other end of his glitting career. And um, I, I kind of love this picture. I, I find it a really strange picture <laughs> because uh, it's called in the private, sit private sitting room of Sir Thomas Lawrence. I don't know many people that have a private sitting room that look like that. It doesn't <laughs> look like a cozy private sitting room. And it does raise the question as well, if, if it is your private sitting room, why <laughs> have you put it in a print for everyone to see? And uh, the best guess that I had was that it's a Georgian equivalent of, uh, of like a Hello magazine article uh, where you see people hanging out in their, um, in their glamorous pads, um, which I've always wondered why, why, why do people do that? Um, but I think it's because it kind of, uh, it puts across the picture that they want you to see. It's almost like advertising themselves. Um, and I figured that this is maybe what this print was for. Um, if you look at that, you, you can see that he's a, he's a man of culture because he's got all these classical sculptures all around him. He's obviously doing very well because he's got this great big room full of pictures. Um, so if you went to uh, get a portrait with him, you get of the rough idea of the kind of person that's going to be painting your portrait, someone that's done really well at it, and someone that is really cultured and, you know, and, and because he's obviously earned a lot to get these sculptures, you can, uh, you can kind of uh, get the feeling that his, his artwork would be reassuringly expensive, so it would be a good status symbol for you to have. Um, and the activity that I've done is basically I've decided that he's, he's had a little uh, reshuffle and he has cleared out his room. He's just gonna, he's decided to go minimalist and then he's kind of regretted it. And now he's got a big bare room and I want you to decorate it or fill it up with stuff. Um, and I will talk about what stuff as we go along. Um, I'm gonna talk about a little bit about why I kind of like this picture. I've got a little bit of a personal attachment to it. Um, and also things that it's reminded me of and, and, and sort of links that I think we could work with. Um, so uh, my way in, sorry about this, just have to scroll through some things. There, there's the bigger picture, just so you can have a look and I'll come back to that in a minute. The, my link to it was that I did an activity a while back, ago with um, the Holborn, uh, it was a school engagement activity where I talked to uh, people who were leaving school of uh, A-level age um, about their what they thought of the portrait of Arthur Atherley that Thomas Lawrence did. And I had to produce a bit of artwork about it. And I researched a lot about Lawrence and I, I had all these notes and drawings and things that I'd done when I'd been speaking to the school pupils. And I had a massive creative block. And I was starting to get emails saying, hey, how's the artwork going? Oh yeah, it's going fine, it's all way, everything's, and I had nothing. And, um, and then I got this book, which is called uh, Sir, Thomas, Sir Thomas Lawrence's Letter Bag, which is all correspondence between uh, Lawrence and his friends and his clients. And I found out that Sir Thomas Lawrence kept his clients waiting for artwork quite a lot as well. I think because he didn't like to say no to things, he just kept on taking these jobs all these kind of glamorous commissions and he had to, he just kept people waiting. So all of these letters, they're, they're, it's, they're some really juicy stuff. Uh, Dear sir, the length of time that has passed since I first sat for you for my portrait begins to press upon my mind with the consciousness of something like a culpable neglect. So this is um, basically, this is what I did for my artwork was I turned out a book of my experience of doing a bit of artwork about Sir Thomas Lawrence. Um, so yeah, that is, and so I've made it the private sitting room of Mr. Church. I'm Sam Church. The very last little one there is, hello, I hope everyone is well and the artwork is coming together fine for the exhibition, which is the email that I got about, <laughs> about doing the artwork. Um, I'll go back to the actual original picture of, if anyone wants to chip in at any point, by the way, if I'm just waffling too much. If anyone wants to ask any questions or say anything, please do. Um, this is the, a bit more of a detailed picture of Thomas Lawrence in his sitting room, um, surrounded by all this stuff. And um, 
it made it reminded me a lot of quite a few things. Uh, the big one is um, collections and Sir Peter Blake, who also had an exhibition at the Holborn Museum, I believe, called Museum to Myself. There's a picture of that here. He says. Yeah, there we go. Um, Lawrence was a collector. Peter Blake is a collector. And he, his artwork, uh, like uh, Sergeant Pepper's, really reminded me of the, um, the sitting room picture with all these different kind of characters arranged in the background. Um, there's also the link that the Holborn Museum was um, set up as a house for the collection of, of, Hol of Holborn, wasn't it? He was a big collector of things. So it was, sorry about that. I think I'm gonna take a breath. <laughs> so yeah, this reminded me a lot of Sergeant Peppers with all these different characters from history in the background. Uh, it also reminded me of other pop art, such as this one, uh, which is by Richard Hamilton. And it's kind of an echo of the sitting room picture in that he's got all these kind of different classical statues and things, whereas this one has taken things from modern culture. Um, and it's used collage. Um, so what you can do for your activity is you can do a few things. You can, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a moment. I'm just gonna talk to you. <laughs> um, is you can just make it jetty, make the room that you would like to see. If you were gonna go and see Sir Thomas Lawrence now, what would, what would make you think, yeah, I wanna get a painting from this guy? Or if it was your private sitting room and you had that giant room, what would you put in it to make it nice? Now that can be anyway, you can use it I'm going to show you a little box that I found my daughter making for some letters that she got from her mate. Um, I've covered it over so you can't, you know, nothing embarrassing for her. She's got her like private keep out bit on it. But it's just really nice just taking collage from magazines, things that she likes. So unintentionally, this is a massive representation of her. And inside the box, she's just got some nice kind of wallpaper and things and she's put okay. adornments and things on it. So you can just make this, in a way, that museum to yourself, things that you like, um, which you might actually find out a bit about yourself just by putting some random decorations on it. Um, the other thing that you can do is uh, you could go the kind of pop art route and, and make it like almost like some kind of commentary if you wanted to about uh, now. Um, which is what pop artists do. They take collage, they take sort of things that they cut from magazines and they use it to kind of say something about now. Um, the other thing that you can do, I mean, I work better quite often with 3D. And I did, I don't know if you did my last activity, but you'll have seen that I got in a panic the night before and thought, oh my God, what can I do? What can I do? So this is what I did. I just got a cereal box and I cut the front off it and I opened it up and then I got a little, I just did a little drawing, but you could cut out the thing from the, the activity. Just got a little Lawrence and stuck him. It's tricky to show you, but there you go. I just stuck him on there and you can see there's space for you to stick things in at different levels in front of him, behind him. You can make him fall over, <laughs> always good fun. Um, and yeah, you can see in the background here, but I've also got, I'll start sharing my screen again. I, I just put together as quickly as possible. It took me literally two minutes, <laughs> um, was just some things. I just looked around me like, well, what represents me now? So I'm just going to share my screen. I, I could try and pick it up. But I really worried it would just completely fall over. Let's see. Um, Okay, can you see that? This is me. My life at the moment is about art materials and chaos. In fact, I wouldn't say necessarily it's about that at the moment. It's always about that. But at the moment, I'm working from home as well. So 
I just picked up everything and actually it's wound up saying quite a lot about me. Uh, there's all my pens. I, I'm a collector of pens. Uh, I'm currently working at home. Uh, I, I normally have a studio, but I've decamped into like was, what was a kind of kid's activity room. Uh, so there's bits of Lego in there. There's a big bit of flint, which I stood on as I was trying to find uh, stuff to put in it, which I got on a trip to um, Box Hill to go and see my family a while ago. Uh, there's spray out, there's Indian ink, um, there's paint splurging out. And yeah, basically, if you put a nice little uh, candelabra hanging there and a table there, you've got a scene and it didn't really take me any time it's not necessarily any good either, but it's but it just shows you kind of how you can start, um, and that is really it. That's I haven't got a huge amount more to tell you. It's just you you can use it just to kind of recap. You can use it to kind of say something about yourself. You can use it to say something about Lawrence if you want to. I just like imagine you're going into a showroom now what would you want to see now that would make you think I'm going to buy some artwork from this guy you can use Lawrence as a stand-in for yourself and just make it jazzy in whatever way you like and that's that that's it I've hopefully given you like quite a few options for things you could do without being totally vague so um yeah there you go thank you but,